Overall speed mix up. Cora. So the other day when Brooks and I, if you guys watched my last video, um, uh, this guy, Hoss right here, was in uh, the pasture with Big Joe. Um, not sure how long he was in there, but when I first pulled up there and saw him, he was getting whipped up by some cows. And uh, that's pretty normal, uh, but I didn't see any aggression from a Big Joe. Not a huge threat from Mr. Haas, the young guy here. He's about to be two years old. Um, and so I was able to get him separated and I put him back with the yearlings, which is the group he's been with. There's like 22 or 21 females. So there's 22 total in that group, uh, including Haas. Came back the next day, and guess what? He was back in there with Big Joe. So Brooks and I were here and we were putting out cubes. And so we drove back there. Well, luckily, Big Joe was, the Big Joe herd was in the back back. And Haas was kind of up in the uh, front, close to his yearling heifers, hanging out. Now he was in the Big Joe pen, the Big Joe pasture still, but he was separated from them. So I thought, man, we got a chance. So I got a sack of feed again. Um, I got him in pasture too. Got him squared away there, went ahead and took care of business. And then Brooks and I hopped in the truck and uh, we got him all the way up to our front trap. You guys take a look. And there he is again. Made his way back over to pasture three and four with Big Joe, but luckily I don't see any of them right now but i got a bill of hay for big joe luckily he's over here by himself bring a sack of feed so i knew he'd probably want some see if we can get him in this pasture here somebody we're jumping fences come on hoss Chickens. Come on, Hoss. Come on, buddy. I know. Come on, we got feed for you. He's too curious. He's got to go through. Got him. High five. filled up so I couldn't get it moved back into the crowd which is where these calves have been but I went ahead and got Hoss up here it's okay he can eat out of this feed bin no big deal right so he's been hanging out uh, 
he's been pretty easy to move around and stuff and he hasn't been too feisty so he must have got whooped up pretty good by either big joe or those cows but anytime we pull up here now we got to really pay attention to see where mr haas is at but so far he's been pretty good he's been a good boy um but no there's uh, nothing wrong with him getting some feet right now um it's uh it's good for him before you know the summer comes on and he's actually able to breed so but we are getting things going here and i'm so excited about what's happening here at the ponderosa hey cora the newbie there she's been getting worked can't wait to show you some of that guys just some different stuff of working with her mark's been coming over and helping uh, we'll show some of that to you guys but um there's some work going on in here and uh my wife is over here with me now, Marissa, and so we're gonna get some stuff knocked out. We gotta move the RV, we got a little issue there, but um, we're gonna uh, use some uh, different power source to get it going, or you're gonna use the Blue Yeti AC300 to get our um, RV going and power it, because we're gonna have to move it around since we're doing some construction in the barn. Uh, plumber's coming tomorrow to actually start running drain lines all the plumbing get water and all that so that is exciting i just got through trenching in there we did the, all the trenching this morning and now the wife and i have got to do some work in here on our tool room and all that all right so we are in the barn and this is where the construction is starting we got the doors closed up right now we're about to open them up but so we did all the trenching this morning and got it ready but we keep our rv in here and we're going to, because we're going to pour, this is a 20 by 40 um, area. And what we're going to do is, obviously, this will be kitchen, bathroom stuff. With the plumbing going on here, this will be a 20 by 20 area and then an, another 20 by 20 area here. No plumbing going on here. But because of everything going on in here, we're going to have to move the RV out. So with the RV going out, because we like to stay in here some and whatnot uh but when we take it out it's going to be flipped around that's where the blue yeti comes in and we're going to um, power it up using it for the first time we've got a generator that is able to power this with a 30 amp um, on it built into the blue yeti ac 3000 so we're going to power it um, after we get this out we'll flip it around and we'll be able to um, source it and then uh, we'll show you what else what's going on inside here and the work that is going to take place here because this eventually will be all concrete and go off of the existing right here where Jackie is uh, that was the second slab that we poured um, and we've got all this plastic in here because we just trying to protect the concrete because we're going to eventually finish this concrete put a clear coat on it and or polyurethane and Staying all that we don't know exactly what we're going to do yet but we wanted to protect it at least for now keep the try to keep the dirt and chickens off of it you know dogs what stuff dogs bring in and whatnot so that's why the plastic is down on it right now so we're going to move the rv up we're going to flip it around Let's go to the 30 amp output on the Blue Eddy, and uh, this goes in here. So take this off for now, and then we'll back it out with the skid steer. There we go.
the, the mobile battery squad. Bring in reinforcements for the mobile service unit. Marissa and I are going to have some fun today using the AC300 and the B300 battery from Blue Eddy. Packed with an astonishing 3,072 watts of ultra durable LFP cells and a 3,000 watt full power pure sun wave inverter, the AC300 plus the B300 can be your mobile recharge center off the grid or on the way. Comes with a neat, handy little bag. This is actually really convenient with all the cords that go with everything. You got your AC charger, you got your car charger, and you have your solar panel uh, a charger as well. So you got lots of cords and all the charging uh, capabilities that you have right here. So we got an extension cord to one of our outlets here in the barn. Because we don't have, we're still in the working phases of this barn, we don't have a lot of outlets actually. Um, this obviously will have electricity powered to it and whatnot, but I've got an extension cord here. I'm going to plug in. We're going to get this thing charging. Okay. Got it plugged into our adapter. Get that plugged in. Charging. Using our DC output right here by charging Marissa's phone. And then we're gonna convert to our AC on here and we're gonna start charging our battery. So the uh, AC300 is actually charging the, the DeWalt right now and we still have it plugged in to the AC outlet and it's still getting charged as well um, with uh, some, some power that we have from the barn. So it's kind of multi-purpose. It's charging and it's taking a charge. Whether it's home appliances or simple things like a microwave or a CPAP, the AC300 is going to do that for you. Marissa and I used it as a charging station where we could plug in our phones. Whether you want to use the wireless charging dock on top of the AC300 or you wanted to use the USB-C port. We used it to charge our batteries when we were working because we don't have a lot of outlets in this barn yet, especially in specific locations where we're trying to uh, do some construction on the inside of the barn but I wanted to put these two by fours up in these seams where we're putting this plywood together. And I wanted to put these two by fours up. And then also in the future, I'm gonna use these two by fours uh, to hang equipment. Rancher. There it goes. Powering her up. We've got 1700 watts of AC output right now from the 30 amp um, connect on the RV. 
So because we turned our RV around, uh, because we're doing construction inside of our barn, uh, we didn't have a plug on this and our cord's not long enough. So that's when we hooked up the Blue Yeti and we're getting it powered. One of the things I really like about this AC300, um, you've got the battery. Now remember, this is not the battery. You have your battery pack right here, 3,072 wattage battery pack that has to go with this. And now this is about 80 pounds. This doesn't weigh near as much and uh, it fits. It's got a nice little sleek finish to it and it fits perfectly on top. You can actually even put the battery on top of the power station as well. But my one of my favorite parts about this is this is one of the only power stations that I know you can hook up a 30 amp RV uh, cord directly to the power station from your RV. Um, this is one cord and uh, there's no conversion or anything. It plugs in right here and the 30 amp three prong outlet directly right here into our RV. That is super handy and very, very convenient for us. Right now we're at uh, 1,670 watts on our AC output. Let's go inside and let's see what's powering. Filming. We got all of our light supply. Perfect. Able to run the water pump. Most important, the fridge. Still able to run the fridge as well, and the freezer. Another microwave as well. Still power on the microwave. That's plenty enough for us. Right now, it hasn't been very cold here lately, um, but the heat in this RV specifically runs off of propane. Um, the AC, this would be able to power the AC as well. The... Most importantly, Oklahoma, it's hot. Eight out of the 12 months of the year. Um, having the air conditioner is huge for us here. And so it's running the air conditioner. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but that is blowing full cold air on us. And so that is very exciting. Don't need it right now because, uh, well, could. It's 70 degrees outside right now, but that is a good sign right there that it's running the AC. That is such a good sign. I know that we just did a little test run on it and uh, I am stoked with the fact that this right here, the AC 300 with the B 300 right here from Blue Yeti surprised the heck out of me because it's hard to find a system to do what we need to do. And because it is so hot here in the summer, we like to take the RV out and take it around the Ponderosa property and hang out with the bison and whatnot. But uh, the biggest problem that we have is we need AC. So very excited. And it had enough juice to uh, pop out the, um, the pop out. that powered it. Microwave, all the lights, water pump, um a fridge freezer and all that ac it did it all but that's the other positive thing is you can use your solar panels during the day you can keep that charged if you are running your ac and you are out and about off the grid essentially you can use the solar panel hookup and you can go directly to the battery to the b300 right here and you can hook up that the solar panels to it to keep that charge going if you're running something that's pulling a lot of wattage like your AC unit. Something I need to mention is there's only one battery pack with this uh, AC 300 power station, but Blue Yeti offers up to four battery packs to power this. So imagine how much power you can have for a long duration. I can't imagine having four batteries. And so if you have one that's going dead and you don't have a power source, you have that backup batteries if you want to invest in those batteries. And other great thing about these uh, battery packs like the B300 here, it only takes an hour to get it fully charged. That's fast. So if you're prepared and you know you're gonna be out and about in the off grid, you can power it up. If you have multiple of these, get them powered, take them with you, or you use the solar panel to power these as well um, during the day, fast charging, 
and uh, long duration of usage. Yep, very versatile. The AC300 comes with six 20 amp outlets uh, right here, just your standard uh, 20 amp outlet. Six of those, you've got four USB chargers right here, and then you have your USB-C charger. Even down on the battery itself, you still have another USB-C uh, charging port and a USB charging port as well, along with a cigarette charger. After a long day, it's a little late, but we're using the Blue Eddy to uh, run our smoker here, cook some burgers, just Marissa and I. Had a break today from Brooks so we could get a lot done here at the Ponderosa. Hanging out with the bison. This is one of our favorite places. It's one of our favorite views right here. We've got a lot of exciting stuff happening around the barn and what's going on inside of us. We can't wait to show you guys. When all of that's complete, it's gonna be a while. So you're on the journey with us. So follow us along. It's uh, gonna be a grind to get it all finished, but when we're all done, it'll be very exciting to share with you. Dogs are having a good time. Thank you guys for watching us. Thank you for being a part of the work and the grind today. And we're gonna enjoy some burgers here. Uh, powered by the Blue Yeti AC300, powering our grill to cook us up some bison burgers. Uh, I wanna thank Blue Yeti for sponsoring today's video. Check out my link in the description box to get the Blue Yeti AC300 plus the B300. See you guys soon. Pass. Huh?